Once upon a time, there was a beautiful green vegetable garden full of life. Many insects lived there in complete symbiosis with the plants. They liked to walk and play around the garden. The insects were the great guardians of the garden, helping the farmer to protect it. All the insects liked to play with each other in many ways. Three of them were long-time friends, a caterpillar, a beetle, and a praying mantis. They spent their time playing around the garden and observing the nature. One day, when the caterpillar and the praying mantis and the beetle were talking to each other, they discovered an interesting curiosity about the caterpillar. One day, I'll become a very beautiful butterfly, said the caterpillar. Then the praying mantis asked, How is it going to be, this transformation? I think she will need to eat a lot, said the beetle. Actually, I'm very hungry now, replied the caterpillar. I'm so hungry that I would eat a horse. A horse? thought and asked out loud the praying mantis. How can you eat an entire horse? It is so big, and your mouth is so small. Then the caterpillar replied, No, silly, I am kidding, I am starving, but not to the point of eating our horse. <laughs> the beetle had an idea. He said to the caterpillar, Hey, I know a place where we can have a snack. Actually, a very healthy snack. Behind the carrot patch, there are some lettuces that the farmer will not sell to the farmer's market. He will not mind. He's so gentle and lovely. Follow me, said the beetle. I'll go first. Then the beetle jumped from the carrot patch to the lettuce patch, next to the tomatoes plant. The beetle was the first, then the caterpillar was the next. She jumped from plant to plant until she arrived in a beautiful and delicious lettuce leaf. Woohoo! shouted the caterpillar, jumping happily through the leaves. The praying mantis was the third in the sequence of the insect jumping. They were delighted playing this game jump in the garden patches. Wait for me, don't eat all the lettuce, cried the praying mantis. After eating, they rested in a branch above the garden. Then the caterpillar said, now that I have eaten too much food, and have my belly full, I will build a cocoon around myself, so I can take a break and sleep. During this period, my body will suffer a transformation, which will allow me to be a butterfly. And how are you going to do that? asked the beetle. Then the caterpillar said, I'm going to build a cocoon around myself using some silk that I produce. Then the praying mantis asked, Are you going to poo? Scared, the beetle said, A poo? Yucky! The caterpillar giggled, <laughs> Certainly, this is not a good way to produce silk. So the caterpillar explains, Actually, the silk is produced with the help of my salivary glands excreted through the spinneret. As it makes contact with air, it turns into a solid silk strand. Then, I will build my cocoon around myself like this. Then, the caterpillar started to make her new house, the cocoon. Now I'm going to finish my temporary house and will rest a bit so my body can transform into a butterfly, affirmed the caterpillar. At this point, the beetle 
and the prey mantis were amazed by that curious and intriguing process of making a house. Well, at least that was what they thought, a temporary house for the caterpillar. Are you going to sleep now? asked the prey mantis in a sad tone. Yes, this is the right time, replied the caterpillar. Are we going to lose you forever? asked the beetle in a worrisome aspect. No, although I will change outside, in the inside I will be the same. Don't worry guys, sooner I'm going to be with you playing around the garden. See you! That scene was a little bit sad for the beetle and the prey mantis as it seemed to show their very good friend going away to never come back. But it is like the caterpillar said, it would be a good transformation in her body that would allow her to fly and discover other possibilities. This is how our life is. Sometimes we just need to understand that some transformations are necessary in our lives, to be a better person, to respect others and above of all to spread love and care about the world where we live, having the blessings of the nature and from the divine providence. Hey Beetle, you know, I miss Caterpillar, said Bray Mantis hopeful. She'll be fine. In a few days, we are going to see our old friend again. As the days passed and the summer approached, announcing a new cycle for nature, all the animals in the surroundings started to play more and more. The vegetable garden was beautiful, full of a variety of delicious green leaves and other vegetables. All the insects knew that they would have a very great source of nutrients to have a healthy life. The farmer was so generous that a small patch within the garden was for them to enjoy this great food. Everyone lived in plain harmony. We could see on the horizon that some butterflies were flying graciously. This could be a good sign that our friend Caterpillar would be in her final transformation stages. I know she is already flying in some place, said the prey mantis. Yeah, but how can we recognize her? asked the beetle. What they didn't know was that the Caterpillar just finished the last stage of the transformation and was about to get out of the cocoon. Maybe that one is her, said the prey mantis. Which one? I can't see it. The beetle? Asked going up suddenly on the back of the prey mantis to have a better view. Actually, they were looking at the wrong place since the caterpillar was still coming out of her cocoon. The caterpillar was now a butterfly. She just got out of her cocoon and was free, finally, to fly high. She was amazed by the new color of her body, with tones of blue, orange, brown and black parts. Wow! expressed the butterfly, surprised. How marvelous I am! I didn't know the final part of my life would be so nice with awesome colors. And most importantly, I can fly! I always wanted to fly! The butterfly was so happy that she didn't want to miss one more minute to meet her friends again and flying to them, she went. Hello, my best friends, said the butterfly when encountering her friends. The praying mantis and the beetle looked at each other and shouted, Is that you, caterpillar? 
now you can call me butterfly but like i said i'm still the same from the inside the same good friend of yours now our possibilities are endless we are going to play much more that's really cool said the beetle in fact we all can fly can't we we all have wings little wings i would say but this doesn't impede us from jumping higher and flying a bit through the lettuce patch. Yes, said together the butterfly and the praying mantis. Our friends learned about the amazing journey a caterpillar would go. They still remained friends and didn't stop playing around the garden every single day. I love playing with you guys said the butterfly. Me too, said the beetle. Now we can fly over the sunflowers. Isn't that amazing? said Brain Mantis happily. The joy and love between those friends lasted for all their lives. They knew that their friendship was like a sunflower, full of seeds that planted with care would grow and produce more seeds and the cycle would last forever. The end. Please subscribe!